guys good morning i hope that everybody is safe <laughs> One last take. Hi guys, good morning. I hope that everybody is fine and that everybody is safe. It's finally the day when we finally go away. I am so excited and I don't take any of this for granted. So this is what we are going to do. First and foremost, I want to make sure that I restock the house because the house is literally empty. Let me show you guys. The house is so empty. I'm so embarrassed, but it is what it is. The kitchen is clean. We've cleaned our kitchen and this actually broke. Super sad. And I take a lot of pepper. See? Pepper, 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 pepper. And prepare yourself, guys. The fridge is empty. Empty, empty. There's just... These ones are, are done, actually. Let me remove them so we can clean them. Empty. It's that. And then there's this as well. This also. Okay. This one, I want to put it in the refrigerator. Coming! I'm coming! And then that's it. Like, literally, the fridge is done. Okay? And then there is nothing here. So, because I'll be going away, I want to make sure that there's at least some food around. So, come with me, guys. That's my baby. And anytime my baby knocks, I have to go and tip it and open the door. I'm coming, Papa! Coming! Ready! Let me just show you how we do it. Ready! Okay. Good job. So we had gone. <laughs> My baby get gets really excited anytime he sees me. And yeah, so I didn't want to take, I didn't want to miss that opportunity. So that's why I went to open the door for him. So now we are going to a place called Isili. 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 I know you guys have seen Isili in the mangoes vlog at some point i'm not so sure but if you've seen silly before let me know i'm gonna buy food in wholesale and make sure that there is food to eat because this idea of sorry this idea of always trying to order food is getting ridiculous on my side and it's getting out of hand because last night we just ended up eating indomie or oh, what did we eat Keno? rice we just ended up eating mm. rice chinese rice yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we took Chinese rice. So I'm in my errand clothes. Let me show you how I'm dressed. Outfit of the day check. Cousin Keno is in the background helping me. He's such a hardworking man. He's such a hard worker. Hey. So he's there trying to help me to clean up and then we are going to go with him to Isili. My sister Kalina has gone to the shop. For those of you who are, who are new here and might not know, I have a shop. It's called Arua Fashionix. We sell beauty products. We sell black soap. We sell shea butter because my husband is originally from Nigeria. So with the help of my mother-in-law, she ships things all, all the way from Nigeria to Kenya and then we go and sell them. If I get time, I might pass by my, my beauty store and show you guys. But if I don't, it is what it is. Meanwhile, let us go. Are you guys excited like I am? I am so excited. My hair is coming through. It's really cute. Really nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's my baby. It comes with having a baby. It's a little noisy. Yeah. I am on my way back home. I went to town successfully. As you guys can see, let me show you. I'm in the CBD of Nairobi. Today is actually a little free. Being that it's a holiday, a lot of people are not around. So the roads are less busy and less crowded. On the other side, we have um, Uhuru Park. Um, Uhuru Park is this side. Hey, hey, this side is Uhuru Park. It's a recreational center it's an amazing place by the way i used to come here when i was a child and like it was it was almost like a dream come true just to come here with your parents and have a good 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 time anyway back to what i was saying i'm going back home because the initial plan was to go and buy food remember but okay before i, I forget i've just seen something interesting interesting and i want to show you guys there's this poster over here it's been written free pads for all girls period like she's advocating against period shame and all that and it's just her in her face and just the words free periods free parts for girls in my own opinion i i kind of feel like billboard is very expensive not unless she, she was given for free and i've always thought what's the need of of putting your face everywhere and just writing 
free parts, free parts. Why can't she use this money she's using for billboards to go and buy the parts themselves and take them somewhere? I don't know if I'm being, I'm just being, I'm ranting or something. Let me know in the comment section what you guys really think. But for me, that's what I think. I'm Nigerian. Cindy? Yeah, because I've always wondered. I see her posters almost everywhere talking about free period. And, and it's just her face, literally. Like, just her face on the billboard. And, no, and nothing much other than free bags for girls. <laughs> Anyways, I, I was supposed to go to town today, which I went. But getting there, I realized that today being a Friday, Muslims um, go to the mosque. So now that means all the shops in Isili have been closed down until around 4.30 and then they close at 5. So it, it, it's almost like I have just wasted the whole day. So I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to go and buy stuff. I just realized that on my way to Isili when I had called my sister and I'm like, yeah, can we meet at this place? Let's go and buy food together. And she's like, yo, today is Friday, don't you know? And I'm, I, I went like Friday, yeah. So she said Friday Isili and being that 99 if not 100 percent of the shops in Isili are run and managed by Muslims so it was impossible so now we are back we are on our way back home the first place we are gonna stop is a restaurant because I told you there's literally no food in the house so what we will do today is to just go get some food from the restaurant and then maybe later on we'll go to the local supermarket and buy a few stuffs here and there so my sister will just have to buy stuffs once I leave because I really wanted to buy stuffs for her I didn't want to buy stuffs for the house before leaving but unfortunately as it looks I'm not gonna be able to do that And here and this is where I'm gonna have my meal. It's a it's called Kenyeji Kenyeji store. Kenyeji actually just means village like or yeah so this is where it is Kenyeji's okay. so most of the meals if not all are made in a traditional way so so this is this is like a traditional pot and then there's fire here. Okay. And then there's like a pot here <laughs> if you want to drink water or something. It's a pot lean. I've realized that there's a pot as well. So I don't know if the pot is it's for drinking water. So it's cold. Cold. Wow. That's cold. It's cool water. Can I get some water? So water is from the pot. I want to try that one. Okay. So I'm gonna try the pot water and I'm gonna show you guys the menu as well. What's going on in the menu? Okay. So I've told you Kenyeji is like Kenyeji village. Wow. Like when someone tells you if you're a lady and somebody says you're so Kenyeji, it means you're you're traditional, you're a little you're a little backward for lack of a better word, and you're village like. Okay? So this is just a place in the city that is bringing back the village vibe. And I've just realized that there's the pots all over the place. Check that out. There's the pots over here. Look at the decor. Okay. So this water is just from the pot over there. I wish I had taken the even the cup. This is literally Kenyeji guys, because back then people used to use these stainless cups. It's so cold. Hey. Cool. Wow. Mm. Yeah. This is my hidden gem. <laughs> yeah, by the way, all all credits go go to my sister. She's one who has shown me this hidden gem. So look at another decoration over here that is typically Kenyeji like. You see, there's the Ankara. Yeah, there's the Ankara going on. 
there's the, we are not forgetting our roots. And it, it's almost like people have already, people are discovering it, Lynn. I thought it's a hidden gem. Aye. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so. So now it's getting a little crowded. Guys are coming in hot. I thought it, when, when my sister says it's a hidden gem, I thought that it's literally hidden. It's not hidden if everybody's. It's hidden, so you can't find it. Yeah, we actually almost got lost, by the way. We almost got lost just a little bit. Okay. Thank you. But this one is really giving Mombasa. But in short, you shall have a light night. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do me. This is. Yes. Chicken. Yeah. Is this one last time? Yes, yes. My, I ordered in Berema. We ordered in Berema. Which one is this? Berema. Okay, wanted two. 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 Yeah, one. Okay, it must be coming. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to show you what we are having. First and foremost, look at this Ugali. You remember the corn? It's called the corn something. You know that I was telling the that time I was telling you I'm using I'm pick at I'm, I'm picking. <laughs> you remember that I was showing you what I was cooking? It was Ugali. It was made of corn. The the maize meal. Okay, the maize meal, and this is the maize. This is not the maize meal actually. This is also Ugali, just that it's made of. What is wimbi in English? It's made of millet. Okay, either sorghum or millet. Any Kenyan in the comment section, please advise us and share the light. This is how it looks like. It's actually brown, okay? It's almost like a amala. Amala, yes, it's almost like amala. You know, the, the Nigerians have this. It's called amala. And then this one right here is alia. So alia is actually just really smoked meat. It's really smoked and dried. No, it's dried first, then it's smoked, and then it's kept safe, and then it can really last for a long, long, long time. And then there's, there's also this over here. I only know it in 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 my native language, Nderema. I don't really know the name. And if you guys can, if you guys are keen enough, you'll realize even the plates are not fancy. They are literally giving um, village. We are going back to the village days. Look at this. <laughs> Lynn, what are you having? Um, it's called grandma style chicken. Grandma style grandma chicken. Yeah. And this plate, show us the plate. Look at this plate. This one. Oh, oh, wow. Now this is where the city life comes in. Because this one is not, it's not village. It's true, by the way. But this one is the ugali. Look at it. Look at the plate. Look at the plate that has been served on. And then there's this. And this is actually really, really traditional. I'm telling you, the plate used to be this old. The plate could never be new. And they were almost looking cracked. Just like this. Oof, time for a feast. Let me wash my hand and then I'm going to join you guys. Alright. Alright. Right. I have finished washing my oh oh that is chili. Thank you. Let me show you guys there's a chili here as well. This is chili. So I have finished washing my hand. Look at this. This is where they are holding the salt. I'm telling you everything is traditional. Uh, salt. So salt. And this is actually also an old salt holder. With the tissue. Look at it. It's to hold. It's super cute. The vibe is good. Let me know what you guys think about the vibe. Do you like it? And there's the straw. I don't think he gave us the straw. Ali, okay. What you do, you take it like this. You pinch it. Okay. Once it's like this, you roll it. Roll it and roll it and roll it. Okay. But this is actually small. But usually we pinch a little bigger like this. Wow. So it gotta be big like this. You know? Then you go in. You almost make like a ball. You just press it like this. Press. <laughs> and then that particular space is where the, the the vegetable is gonna go in. So you see. Then it goes in. Mm. 
So good. Mm. We've really eaten. We've eaten so well. Extra crunchy. Let me just confirm whether we have fresh fish too. Okay. I'm a YouTuber. It's a letter. He <laughs> says, Hey Sean, I'm a very big fan of, of your work and all you do. You are a motivation and force. Keep them vibes coming. Hey Kalina, say forgive this handwriting. This is a letter from my, yes, it's really, really from a fan of mine. So I'm gonna keep it really nice. No, I don't think they have oxtail. I think oxtail is more of a Jamaican, Jamaican meal. You have, you love Jamaican meal? I love oxtail. That's all. Wow. I was like, okay, let's get some oxtail. No, there's no oxtail there, man. You, you, have you been to Jamaica before? How was it? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to visit Jamaica. <laughs> I look like Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to visit Jamaica. Look at that. They sell like marijuana everywhere. Everywhere? Like you can just go up here and you can buy marijuana. Okay. Nine items. Nine items have been ordered. And we spent 3,000. How much is 3,000 in, in USD? Around 20? Twenty dollars? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I don't twenty dollars. So I am back home. I've just changed. I've put on my dera, and this is what we call dera. Different people call it differently, but us we call it dera. So now, guys, my flight is literally in four hours, and for some reason, I still can't believe it. I still can't believe that I am finally doing this. Like, I, I've, I kept on trying to, to imagine that I'm not doing this. Like, it's a dream. It's, I'm not going and I, please wake me up. Please wake me up. But it's true, guys. I am finally leaving. I am finally traveling. And now I have to just pack and leave. Because if I don't take care, I might miss the flight. Okay. I rebuke that in the name of the Lord. So let me. My room is so messy, but uh, I bought some clothes yesterday. And the truth is, I even washed some few clothes. Yesterday, imagine I did laundry in the night. I don't know if you guys also do laundry at times in the night. And yeah, I just went and brought them right now. So these are some of the clothes that I'm living with. And where I'm going, the country that I'm going, there's a lot of clue right here to show you guys where I am going. There is a lot of clue, but... I feel like for this particular video, I'm going to catch you guys good one. I'm going to get you guys a good one because there are some people who might think that I'm going somewhere, which is not where I'm going, but there are some people who are going to get it. So let me know. Where do you guys think I am headed to? <laughs> yeah! I, sorry guys i am not even misbehaving at this point i am just so excited and yeah these are the sandals that i was buying for my friend let me see these are the sandals that i bought for my friend and this is size 40 but it doesn't really look like it's size 40 i don't know why it's really giving size 39 so they are they're about four pairs I'm going to pick others and then we pack our bags and leave. The other day, my grandfather saw this portrait and he was like, is this you? Why? Why would you take a picture like this? This is not the, the, the child I want to see. Is, 
of course he wasn't talking like that because you know me I'm a little bit louder and uh, exaggerate a little bit a little bit dramatic but I was like oh is that like why will you take pictures and post them but there but no that's not me guys that's just um a random portrait that I saw and I really fell in love with I'm really wasting so much time let me quickly pack and then I'm gonna see you guys in a bit maybe at the airport or just around but let me just and so I am so ready I have dressed and my shoes actually came in today as well 40 minutes ago and I'm traveling <laughs> dreams really do come true so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm putting on and then we leave i don't want to get late now i'm i'm having around three hours to time lynn do you mind helping me so that they can see my outfit yeah. these are i'm dressed i like being so comfortable but i don't like the fact that i'll have to constantly change my shoes but and guys after giving birth my shoes my leg is so big now i'm putting on size 40. i kind of feel like this 40 is a little bit but anyway so let's go lynn show them this is how I'm dressed, outfit check, looking good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Did I kill it? Is it a hit or a miss? Is it airport worthy or not? Uh, and yesterday somebody told me that I'm really giving Caribbean vibe. Am I? <laughs> Am I giving Caribbean vibe? Anyway, guys, I'm so excited. I'm, I can't wait to see you guys at the airport. Let's go. We are at the airport. I've just finished checking in right now. I'm on my way. I'm trying to find my sister on the other side so that I can quickly say bye-bye and see what this journey has in store for me. Let me tell you guys something. I might not actually look like it, but I am so nervous right now. I'm such a nervous wreck. Like, I don't even know how to explain this, but this is the first trip that I'm nervous. I have never been a nervous girl because I remember when I was first flying to meet my husband, everybody was like, how will you just travel to Nigeria? So many things might go wrong. Don't go. But I was like, my God, I'm going. I'm having fun. But this particular trip, guys, my heart is beating. I don't know why, man. My heart is beating. Like, it, my heart is racing really fast. But anyway, they say courage is not the absence of fear, okay? It's, it's the presence of fear, but you're still deciding that I'm going to do it regardless of anything. Whew. Forgive me, guys, if I'm panting. Like I said, I'm a little nervous today. And today the airport is not so busy. Um, also because it's, it's um, a holiday, which I don't know if has got anything to do with that, but the airport is not as, as busy. It's usually quite busy so where we are going is called the Paul cafe this is where my sister and I like to chill <laughs> anytime we are traveling I'm just gonna act like a mad person and pass here sorry I was worried throughout the day I kept on tossing and turning trying to question myself and figuring why I am so worried I mean I have taken some of the riskiest trips before and worry was the least 
of my worry until this moment came when it was finally time to say goodbye to my little boy I figured it all out fear suddenly just hit me all at once and I was panicking this was gonna be the first trip that I was taking without my baby I mean ever since I had my baby we have taken all trips together I was so scared of this moment. I didn't know what to do because I had so many what ifs. What if this goes wrong? What if this doesn't go right? How is he gonna cope? I'm gonna miss his cute little smile. After having a back and forth, back and forth dialogue with myself for weeks, I finally had to face this day. This is something that I really didn't want to admit that was one of my biggest fears and worries. I remember the very first time this trip crossed my mind, I said proudly, I don't mind, I'm going to leave him behind. I mean, he's not going to be the first baby. So many people leave their babies behind. It's a normal thing. I mean, what could go wrong? Easier said than done. When it was finally time to leave him behind, the reality suddenly hit me all at once. A little secret. There was a time between this period that I had to lie to my sister that I am going to the toilet. The truth is, I had gone to let out a little cry because my heart was bleeding, my heart was aching. I remember asking myself, is this really necessary? Am I really gonna do this? Is it even worth it? Whoa. This is my sister Kalina. She's seeing me off. The one and only. I'm the one and only. The next. Hi, Papa. Can you see yourself? <sighs> it's time for me, guys, to finally say my last bye byes and um, just brave the unknown. Hey, God. We, 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 Okay then let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Anyway guys, remember I had told you <laughs> my sister just told me. And then I put the baby to sleep. I can also go somewhere and cry My sister just told me to go and cry the plane. The easy and the funny part was finally gone. And now it was time to trust my sister with everything. It was time to trust my sister with a whole life. She was actually a little scared because for the first time, she was going to handle her life 100% by herself. She told me, Sean, I'm scared because this baby 100% now depends on me. I am going to be in charge of what he eats, what he does when he sleeps. In short, I'm in charge of a whole human being. And that left me wondering and thinking to myself, mothers are not given enough credit. Mothers are not clapped for enough. So if you are a mother out there, big up and God bless you. For every time you took care of somebody, we truly appreciate we are not thanked enough it's not just a matter of taking care of a baby it's a life i quickly bid them goodbye okay so Good i have enough. just said bye bye to my son and i'm not even gonna lie guys this is so sad it's such a sad 
day and a happy day happy because i am finally achieving one of my biggest dream and flying to my dream destination and i'm i'm also sad because i'm not doing it with my son but it's, i don't i don't know what to say it's a, it's it's sad that i don't have my son with me and also it's good that i don't have my son with me because at least now i'm going to be able to to experience this place to the fullest and also enjoy every bit on the other hand it's also sad because as a, as a first time mom I'm so worried. I can't even lie to you guys. I am so worried. My heart is racing. My heart is beating. There's so many what ifs in my mind. Like what if this, what if that. But I don't even want to bring them to life. I don't want to give them life. So I don't want to even mention any what if that is going on in my mind. So I just want to focus on the positive side and just think about all the bright things. Like if, if, if I can say what if it goes wrong, then I can truly say what if everything goes right. And being that my sister also is a little, I can also say that what if everything goes right. But I'm so happy that he, my sister has remained with my baby because she's almost like her mother. She loves the boy. That one I know for a fact. She almost loved the, loves the boy more than I do. She loves the boy. Her heart beats for the boy. Everything she does is for that boy. So I am very much confident when I'm leaving the baby. And please please if you don't have anything to say the only thing that i would ask you guys to tell me is to encourage me any first time moms or any mom who's ever left their kid behind either for to go and for greener pastures or for whatever reason this is your time to talk to me and this is your time to make me feel like it's gonna be okay because taking this step was not the easiest but i don't want to i don't want to be carried away because anytime i'm thinking about it i feel like i'm gonna just start crying so the best thing i think would be to show you guys around i hope that you guys can clearly hear me so this is where i am right now i have decided to fly qatar i'm flying qatar airway because i've never left my baby and i've never flew qatar before so i have two new experiences in my hand and truly speaking i am hoping that this this trip is gonna be one of the best trips that i ever had i know and i can feel it because i know i've really been scared and i'm panicking and that is only because my mind knows that whatever i am going to do there is something big so so that's why i'm panicking okay anyway let me show you guys around the airport because i don't wanna soak you guys in sadness Let's just see around as we find our gate. So we are going to get 10. So this is how our airport looks like. This is um, the other side. This is um, the C. The, let me see. 1D, I guess. I think it's 1D. And then there's a lot of stuff here being sold. A lot of African stuff. Kenyan. You remember the other time at the beginning of the video, I showed you guys things like this. So, yeah. This is the Maasai stuff you can get them here i guess they are, most of them are duty free which is really cool a lot of artifacts here this is the kenyan flag for those of you who might not know this is the kenyan flag and most of us kenyans just like to wear our bracelets with pride i have seen something like this i once bought them for my um, nigerian mother-in-law and she really 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 loved them most of them are handmade made by hand people enjoy it. and then this is supposed to be the the african baby or what like what is this <laughs> and why is the african baby okay this is the mother because she has a baby at the back okay okay <laughs> this is the mother right there having a baby at the back and i keep on telling you guys that most of our old houses were built like this so you see even the previous hotel that i was in was looking like this and then there's, there's this there's the shaker maybe if you're playing music the bags made of beads and and whatnot there's also plenty of earrings over here and they're not even even cost because this is like six dollar this is six dollar this other one is eight dollars it's it's pretty nice it's not bad pricing it's really good right yeah there's the other bags over there it's it's not bad at all so let's say you had visited kenya and you forgot some things let me show you guys something cool here there is Hakuna Matata. I've told you this before. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata is a Swahili word that means means no worry, no hurry. No, no, no worry. This is no hurry. But the other one means no hurry, no worry. And then there's the Tasca. 
Tasca is a Kenyan beer. It's Kenyan made. It's a beer that is made in Kenya. It's amazing for those who drink Tasca. They can tell you that Tasca is one of the best. Hi, Sasa. I just want to tell you Bye, mommy. So I met a couple of fans, but they didn't want to be on camera. So I respected that, and I didn't put them on camera. So far, so good. We are doing pretty well. This is the. So I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to have you. I'm Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so I get a lot of people who greet me, and to be quite sincere and honest, I actually really like it when people greet me and say hi, how are you? Because it it only shows my work is not taken for granted like there are people who can really see me deliberately like the, every work i'm putting up there are people see and acknowledge so there's also other things here that are made of glass let me show you this is made of pure glass it's a way of reducing pollution so they they take the old glasses that have been thrown away and they blow them they put them in the fire then make nice nice cute designs let me know what you guys think about that in general and the kenyan airport is actually clean this is called jomo Kinata international airport it's the biggest airport in kenya all right and it's so clean as you guys can see it's clean it's not super crowded i guess <laughs> i don't know if it's not super crowded ama it's because i came when when it's less busy <laughs> You remember I was telling you guys about safari. This is a typical safari outfit. So if you want to go to safari, you can put on something like this. And they even have like a pillow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow. I'm boarding at gate 9. I don't know if somebody's supposed to pay when you sit on those gates. Because they are actually looking very good. The charger here. I feel like this one's you pay for them. I don't know and I don't want to lie, but I kind of have a feeling you have to pay for them. Anybody who knows, let me know in the comment section if these ones are really free because I don't know. I haven't tried them before. I don't want to lie. There's a lot of duty free egg shops over here. I just don't want to buy anything at the moment. So. I'm not going to try and buy. Or should I buy? Is there something that I don't need? I can, I can actually buy the Hakuna Matata. This one looks really good. Oh, but this is for a baby. This Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata looks really good. I like it, but not the color. The yellow. The yellow is really shouting. These are the sandals that I had bought earlier. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is so good. Mm -hmm. But I had already bought these sandals. So unless I see like a design that I didn't get there. But most of them are just almost the same. So we just have oh, yeah, to keep one. going but unless I see something else that is interesting and I'm tempted to buy. Okay, that's get 10. So is it already our boarding time? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, I don't think it's our boarding time yet. People are just lining up there. <laughs> So that's outside, that's where my sister was. Then I'm gonna go like this. Let me find somewhere and sit. Sasa, hi. So this is our flight over there. 
Let me show you. Here we go. Muku. Here is Qatar Airways. Angalia, check it. Ah, ngoda ngoda kati na nusu diena video. Wacha mi ni kushikie pia nishikie. I'm flying business today and God is truly good. Oh, no, I'm so happy. I'm so positive that this Jamaican trip is gonna be amazing. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. One E. Sorry. Seated. One E. One E. Right here. Right here. Yes. I thought this is two. No, the, this one. This is the one. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. So I've just gotten some champagne over here, rosé champagne, and I've been given some extra nuts. <laughs> so let's enjoy this. And then by the way, meanwhile, there's something I want to show you guys. There's a place here. It's more of like a massage. So there's a, if you want to massage yourself, see it's made in such a way that you can literally tap crease it, you can increase, decrease. And if you want it to be like a bed, it's right here. And then a little flat. Yeah, so that's just it. And right now I'm enjoying a massage. I don't know why it's just in the in the bam bam only right now. I feel like I haven't made it even. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and, and make sure that because at this point my bam bam is really getting mas massage. <laughs> hey, let me enjoy my nuts as I figure out what to do.
So we have some new things that are, are here. This wasn't part of the menu. We've been told that this is something new. They want us to try and give feedback. Funny enough, I've forgotten the name immediately. They've said something tomato cherry. So I can see there's some tomatoes here and there's some cherry. And then this is the size of the salt, really tiny. But we're going to work with it. This, I guess it's a sea salt. And this is pepper. Right there. And then there's the... What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is... Um, I don't know what that is. And then there's some bread here. It's really hot, funny enough. The bread are hot. And then that's it. So this is the setup of the table. So here we go. This is the first bite. I don't know what I think of. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. Let me give it another try. <laughs> Maybe this time around I like it. Because I see everybody's enjoying it. What's, what's, am I the problem? Because it's not bad. <laughs> okay, if you eat it really quick, it's not bad. Oh, it's not bad. I was just being a little dramatic. Mm. Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it? Different. You think? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> the texture. Yeah, the texture. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. The cheese is nice. I'm trying the to convince myself. Yeah, the jelly. I'm trying to convince myself that I like it, so... So what are you YouTuber? Is it about you, just you? Hmm? Is YouTubing just about you? Yeah, I'm, most of the time I just do travel vlogs. Ah, uh, stop. Sorry? Most of the time... I just do travel vlogs. Let's say I travel somewhere show people around a new place what to expect yeah so it's more like a travel so how do you make money on that just by the advertising and yeah the followers yeah click, click rate hmm? so by click rate how many clicks you get yeah 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 that's it you have a big following not not so much I have around about a hundred thousand. Good. That's pretty good. A hundred and twenty. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. hundred and twenty thousand. So, and they really love watching me. Yeah. Good, good. They support me so much and I love them. Yeah. <laughs> so, throughout the flight, at times you will realize, you'll just find me talking. I might look like I'm talking by myself. <laughs> But that's not the case. That's friends. I'm talking to my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to say hi? So you're on live. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Yeah. My first YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be on YouTube now? I feel like a superstar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we do is you, you just have to see if these are people. And yeah. we just we just keep talking, we just keep going. Sure. Yeah. But how do you interact? How do you know what they're thinking? So you ask them questions. You say, for example, I'll be like, okay, I don't I don't know if I like it or not. So yeah. I'll show them on the camera, and then I'll ask, is there anybody who's travelled first class who's in Qatar before, before? Who has had this? What was your take? And then they will yeah, give tell their me. Input. Yes. But is it through? Text. Yes, yes, there's two texts and at times you can also go live. There's a live option, but because of the internet, I don't know if there's Wi-Fi here. I don't think there is. Well, yeah, I've tried checking and I didn't. Yeah, yeah I didn't see it. So I. Uh... Sometimes there is. I think I liked it because it's. I've finished it, so safe to say it was. It wasn't bad. My problem is, is that. 
It's almost midnight in Bangkok. We're gonna have the. She's, I think I'll, I'll I'll get there in the morning as well. Yeah, but you're going that way, which is yeah. good. Yeah. See, I'm going against it. <laughs> so it's. A bye. Hello, this hello, is princess. Thank you, princess. You. You're welcome. Sorry, huh, madam? I'll just move this it's one. It's okay. Here. Enjoy, boy. Thank you. This one. So this is what we are having right now: some prawns and some caviar. Those who've never had caviar, this is what it looks like. I'm also gonna have it for the first time. Have you had caviar before? No. Yeah. Is it nice? Or is it overrated? So let me just try it and see. Your first caviar. <laughs> yeah, my first caviar. <laughs> okay, let me let me let me go now. I think I had way too much expectations. The expectation was way too high. I thought it was gonna be like something really golden. But anyways. It's just status. <laughs> yeah, it's just status. I had uh... And this is what we are having. We're having salmon and um, some mashed. Yeah, that's basically it. And there's some spices here as well. Tabasco for the chili lovers. I think this is mayonnaise. And then ketchup. I don't really like ketchup that much. But for this, I'm going to use it. Hey guys how is everybody doing it's me again i've decided to come in the bathroom and talk to you guys because it's really late right now and i am so tired and i'm so sleepy i've already eaten all the meals and i'm thinking it's gonna be better if i just go to rest like what do, what do you guys think go to sleep because of the time difference by the time i get there it's gonna be around 6 a.m in the morning and sorry because of the jet lag i might really find it hard to cope and i want to just get there like this and film for you guys show you guys the tango and just have a blast so meanwhile let me show you how this particular washroom looks like so this is the washroom i'm in the toilet right now this is the first class toilet it's very similar to the economy one because the only difference here might be that this has there's a hand velvet lotion placed here and then right here there is infused facial water which i don't know if i can trust i don't even know if i can i don't know what this is infused facial water and um hand hand wash which is actually looking a little cuter even the placement is different okay it's a little cute and then of course there's the washroom here nothing much nothing really much and then now there is me who's the girl i'm the girl who's the girl i'm the girl i'm the girl yeah i'm the girl i'm the girl who's the girl i'm the girl who was traveling to her dream destination who's the girl i'm the girl who's the girl i'm the girl who's the girl let me tell you guys the guy that i was sitting next to is like oh are you a caribbean i'm like oh, i'm not from caribbean 
where are you from? So I tell him, and he's like, no, I thought you're you're probably from Jamaica. I'm like, no, 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 I'm I'm not born in Jamaica, but I identify as Jamaican at this point because now this is like the second most asked question. I usually get asked, are you from Nigeria? I'm like, no, I'm not from Nigeria. And now it's are you from Caribbean? So my Jamaican people, this is your sister. You just have to accept me the way I am. So let me sign off guys i'm gonna see you guys either in qatar because i have a stopover in qatar about three hours stop in qatar or i'm gonna see you guys in my dream destination or i'm gonna see you guys where we are going and let me ask you guys where do you think we are headed Time to sleep, I guess. Should we say good night? <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys in Qatar, right? Promise to stay and wait for me in Qatar because I need to catch some sleep. And yeah, thank God this is business class, so it just adjust. It's I actually have like a tiny bed now, I can just adjust and sleep comfortably the whole night. And they have like a blanket as well here. Yeah that now enables me to sleep really comfortably <laughs> yeah and as, as my friend Dee Mwango always says we are we are showing this so that everybody can be inspired and so that everybody can know that it's possible all these things are possible every dream is valid huh? none of this is to come off as show off or bragging but rather to inspire all the little girls out there all the boys and girls who have dreams to live a good life just keep on working hard and know that all the dreams are possible <laughs> everything is possible in life so guys I'm truly sleepy I was offered a coffee but I don't want to take coffee because it's 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 gonna mess me up real real bad so see you guys in Qatar. I know I've said this so many times, but now for real. See you guys in Qatar in the next one. So for now, bye bye Mama Africa. Where are we right now? I don't know if we are in Addis Ababa or we are past Addis Ababa. But the last time I checked, we were in Addis Ababa. Can you guys see my legs? They are all the way down. Can you guys see my legs? You see my feet are all the way there because I've stretched the bed. So the bed, I'm able to like sleep. I think I should actually just remove my, sh my, my shoes as well. Okay, I've just done that. I've removed my shoes so you guys can see my socks. Over there, let me show you. I'm gonna tell you how comfortable is this bed. Is it even comfortable? It is, it's quite comfortable. Let me see, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my pillow right there. So there's this pillowcase and then there's this. I was actually looking for this, but I couldn't find it. But now that I've found it, well and good. And there's a very nice set of headphones here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use them, so I'll just put them back here, like that. And then, yeah, so that's gonna be my bedroom for the night. Let me stand up and show you guys my bedroom for the night. So this is my bedroom for the night. Right here, so. Oh, 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 my SD card. Oh, 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 I would have cried. And then this is for the ears. If you don't want to feel the noise, just plug it in your ear. Yeah, but I like the noise because it makes me feel like it's, um, sorry guys. Oh, 
Ooh. I actually like the noise. I'm not gonna use the ear plug because it makes me feel like white noises. And most of the time I sleep with the white noises on. And put this one here. Ooh, ooh, it's so cute. Most of the time I sleep with the white noises on. So I'm not gonna use them. Ooh, who would have thought? I'm telling you, if I would have come here with my grandpa, hey, hey, can you imagine? If I tell my grandpa that the, the bed in the flight, hey, hi, he's going to be so shocked. <laughs> he will not believe it. He will not believe his eyes. Like, hey, my God. Hey, but anyway, we thank God for this experience. It's an amazing experience, at least now. As somebody who hates traveling in the night, at least I like it now. So, guys, I want to say good night. See you in Qatar. I'm going to switch off the light now. Okay, thank you. Nice. So I've just switched off the light and good night guys. See you in Qatar.